Mm. Now, how can how can men start to identify and work through any kind of underlying issues that or insecurities that they may have that is causing them to rely on partners or potential partners so heavily for their happiness? So um, I always recommend, obviously, using a coach, having yeah. someone who's outside of you see where you're struggling with. Uh, or see what you're struggling with. But we all have insecurities. I think that's just very normal. It's very natural. It's very human to mm -hmm. just have whatever insecurities that you're you're facing. And there's no shame in it. And I think just working on it, you know, understanding that what you believe about yourself, if it's not at a place you want it to be, like, for example, if you believe that you're not good enough to date. Mm. That is literally just a thought. I know we make that almost seem like a reality, like it's true. Um, we have so many self-limiting beliefs that we have to really break those down and poke holes in them because we're going to manifest that. If we don't think we're good enough to date, we're just not going to date. So it's, it's really kind of taking what we have up here and looking at it on paper. So that could be journaling. It could be whatever that looks like for you. But just recognize like, okay, I think I'm too fat to date or I'm mm -hmm. too ugly to date. That's, that's nonsense. But for if someone believes that, it's very debilitating because it, we think that's the truth. Right. And we haven't questioned it. We haven't, you know, really taken a look at that from another perspective. And so I would say really taking a look at our thoughts and working with a coach and just or just writing it down, right? Yeah. Taking the facts and separating it from the story we have about who we are. Also becoming more future focused, like we can decide the life we want to live. We have that ability as humans. We can plan, we can choose what we want to think about ourselves. And so if I want to rewrite the script of who I am, I need to start changing my beliefs about who I am. Mm. So if I, if let's say I'm a, I'm a guy and I want to start showing up more confidently, well, I, I need to start believing into that version of me that is that confident man. And the more I can do that, the more I can envision who I want to be versus who I think I am, right? Because both of those are optional, right? Who I right. think I am is also a choice. And who I think I can be is also a choice. So which of those mindsets is going to get me to really my goal? And it's, in fact, it's interesting because the more I actually believe in my confidence and the more I start understanding who I am and what I'm, this is very interesting because a lot of guys and women don't really know why someone should date them. Mm, yeah. They're like, and I have a lot of clients, very, you know, educated, great job, but outside of their job and their career and their, even sometimes their health, they're like, well, I don't even know why a woman would want to date me. I, I, yeah. I don't, I, I couldn't tell you why. So that we, we need to ask ourselves the question, what do I like about myself? Why should a woman want to even date me? We need to get better at answering those questions and start building our self-esteem because once we do that, we start showing up differently and it's such a beautiful thing because that will attract women and it will also repel women. The more we become who we are and ask ourselves, okay, what do I like about myself? You know, and live more into really our personality and our character mm. and be very honest about our opinions, be honest about what we think about things and not hold anything back. The more we show up that way, we allow people to judge us. We allow people to really dislike us. And yeah. that's 
not a big deal at all. Because the people that don't like us, we want them to, we want to show ourselves to them and then they're gone. Yep. And when we show up the way we, you know, that's truly authentic for us, we're going to attract the people that like us. We get stuck in this in between of like having no personality because again, we don't want to rock that boat. Right. And that's when really no one is going to like us. And if they do, it's because we're, we're fake. Yeah. And I also find it so interesting that we, we give so much grace to other people, but not to ourselves. Mm-hmm. Like, we'll we'll like, we'll, I'll, you know, I might see a pretty woman be like, Oh man, she's so great. And she has all these great talents. And I could be over here. Like, I don't have anything, blah, blah, blah. And then she's sitting over here thinking nobody likes me. I'm not really worth great, but it's like, we're all doing that to our, we're all beating up ourselves and then praising other people. And it's like, if we realize the good other people saw in us, we could, cause I always tell people we're our first cheerleader. We either, we're either our first, our first cheerleader or our first hater. Right. pick and if you're your first hater then you're always going to walk in the world with like slumped shoulders and thinking nobody wants me and you're looking down and you're not able to see the people around you that are like hyping you up and you're so great and would actually be willing to date you if you would only like get out of your funk and look around right i mean you know i'm sure with all the guys that you work with how much humans as humans were in our head and there's no avoiding that. We're, we, it, we're in our head. We think. And it's just if all that I'm thinking about is what that woman is thinking about me, I value her opinion more than my own. Mm-hmm. So the, if you have a good opinion of yourself, again, it's totally optional. Whatever you think about yourself, you can just decide. Like if I want to de- decide that I'm a good person, I truly can decide that and I can start believing that. And the reason that's so important is because some women you date are going to be like, yeah, I just don't think you're my guy. I just don't, I wasn't really attracted to you. And if I have a really low opinion of myself, I'm 100% going to believe her versus if I know that I'm a good guy, I'm, you know, or for me, I'm a good woman, I'm, I'm beautiful, I'm smart. If another guy, if a guy tells me I'm not, it's like, okay, it's not you, can be wrong. you can be wrong about me. That's fine. <laughs> That's okay. Right. I don't take it personally. That's good. Now I want to mention real quick, uh, you have a website, uh, relationshipconfidence.com and tell people what you have available on your website, uh, whether it's coaching, whether it's uh, freebies, online stuff, like what kind of things can people find out at your site aside from obviously signing up for coaching with you? I, I do one-on-one coaching for men in the Silicon Valley. It's all in person. And um, we do a lot of rejection therapy, getting people really to not like us and building up our self-confidence from that. I have a, a, a online dating video guide for men to kind of give them guidance on how to set up their pictures and their text on their online dating profile, things to avoid, kind of, um, you know, help them really to have the best profile that they can have. Um, so that's totally free. You can find it on my website. I think on YouTube, it's Silicon Valley Dating Coach. And on my Instagram, it's Julia Malakiman. And Facebook, it's um, also Silicon Valley Dating Coach. So um, yeah, feel free to follow me on the socials or reach out to me. Um, but I really do appreciate, Harry, you bringing me on. This was a really awesome talk and um i really enjoyed it and i hope some of your your viewers um you know get something out of this excellent well julie it has been a a absolute pleasure i was looking forward to this conversation all week so i'm glad i got a chance to get you on here and talk to you about all this fantastic stuff appreciate the work that you're doing out there too thank you so much harry it was my honor this was an awesome conversation and thank you for putting this show on it's incredible Appreciate it. Uh, For the rest of you guys, uh, be sure to go to introvertdatingsuccess.com to get more tips, tricks, and strategies on how to date as your introverted self while still getting your precious alone time. I'm Harry Wilmington, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode. I'm out. Peace. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high.